Tonight's court ruling means that at least for now, the president's executive order on immigration will not be enforced. Does that pose a threat to Americans? Tammy Bruce says the order was a boost to the country's long-term safety, and she joins us now from New York City. Hey, Tammy, great to see you. So why do you think the president's executive orders uh, kept the country safer? Well, look, obviously there's a reason for the order in those nations. Uh, it was failed nation states and then two nation states that are uh, state sponsors of terror, Sudan and Iran. These are nations as a result, all seven of them, where there's no real infrastructural way to tell who it is that we're allowing in the country, first of all. And then you've got, of course, these are the nations that are consumed with civil war, with terrorism, where terrorist groups have the majority of the landmass. In addition, uh, that ISIS, through the three cities that it's taken, uh, Mosul and Raqqa and other areas in Libya, have what's called a fake passport industry. They have tens of thousands of blank passports in addition to state-based um, machinery to make identification papers. So you have p p potentially thousands of individuals uh, with, with fake materials, fake ID. Remember also Iran, like North Korea, has a state-sanctioned counterfeiting operation, not just with American cash, which is why we keep changing the design of our money, but also for identity papers. So we're looking at a dynamic where until we can be, for sure, we can be absolutely sure about who's coming into this country, we have to presume that there's a problem. Remember, this is limited. This is about making right. sure that we had some mechanism. So obviously this is the hot spot of where there's effectively a regional uh, war leading to a world war, and we've got to have some parameters at this point. So, I mean, how confident are you that the federal government, under this president or any other, knows who's coming in? There was this weird moment today where DHS said that these orders affect 100,000 visa mm. holders, followed pretty swiftly by the State Department, moving the number down to 60,000. Wow. What do you make of that? Look, whether it's 60 or 100,000, I thought that news was great news in that, my goodness, we have potentially 100,000 people from a region that we don't even know who's there that we've given visas to. I mean, that was a sign that this order was working because it had been almost like we had been handing them out like candy. So you, there's no way that you could have 60 to 100,000 visas. Remember, this is just for those seven countries. It's not like worldwide. Uh, and of course, now at this point, those visas are technically canceled. But if people still have the piece of paper, and now with this order being uh, temporarily stopped, people can still come in. We had a number of Iranians fly in through Boston for a period of time right. who were allowed into the country with visas that effectively had been canceled. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. So what about the argument that's being made by a lot of people that this is, in effect, a religious test, a Muslim ban, and is therefore un unconstitutional? Look, what's interesting is here's what the left is doing. They are determined to make sure that the, the Barack Obama theory, that the liberal theory of open borders, that everyone can come in here because that's what they need to do to boost their power, is the only answer. They've got to make sure that Trump fails and as a result that this nation fails because otherwise they'll be proven to be frauds. Uh, this obviously is not a religious test. It's seven nations. 85% of the Muslims on the planet are not affected. So on its face, that's specious. I believe all of these, uh, uh, litig all the litigation, all the lawsuits will ultimately fail, but this is a test for the Trump administration because this is about keeping our nation safe. We've sent the USS Cole over to Yemen. I mean, we're, we're in a world where we're, we're almost preparing for war here. And so keeping the parameters around this country is key. These arguments from the left right. um, are, are frauds, uh, and of course they're meant to just to have Trump fail, which means they want the nation to fail. Tammy Bruce, thanks for that.